has to make this club. Not only does he do that, he spends a nice first outing, first outing of his career down in Miami. Cold, and here, you know what? Energy's riding high, and we're excited for Pirate Baseball. Let's check, check out this uh, lineup. Jerry Jones, third base for the Orioles, who won 101 games last year. And here are the Pennsylvania State lottery numbers for Jared Jones. Behind him. Brought to you by Levin Furniture and Mattress. And you see the infielders, Hayes, Cruz, Triolo, Telez around the infield, third to first. And in the outfield, left to right, you had Jack Sawinski going to play mainly left field here at PNC Park with Michael A. Taylor, the gold glover in center, Brian Reynolds in right, and Henry Davis catches Jared Jones. This does not happen. Pitch a home opener. But the first pitch is 98 in on the hands. And it's a lot harder than it is. He gets great extension on it. How about this? Stone. And a swing and a miss. 99. This is, this is unbelievable. Way up on top of the ball. Just gets a piece. Jared Jones. Now two and two. Right down the middle. Impressive so far in his early going of his career. Here we go. Oh, man. Well, you wonder too, Greg, if it's... Taylor, deep center. Little trouble, but recovers. Lines this to right field. That's a foul ball. Debut against the Angels. And the other way for O'Neill Cruz. But they got some really good arms as well. Young arms, too. And a double play ball, the bobble drop, throw to first, got him. Pulled off the end of the bat. Well, we've talked a lot about Key Brian Hayes, not only driving the ball, but the situational hitting as well, and putting good at bats together. And Pirates have two aboard. That's a terrific at bat. Catches. Now Sawinski. Four for 22 to start hit. Well, to be to be fair to Jack, we saw in one out. Reason why we haven't seen quite as many steal attempts. Nice but on, but on. like that. It's a big strikeout of Sawinski for the second out. Lines this to right field. And toward the wall. So I think that is certainly accurate. I have no bias when I say this. Being a Pittsburgh girl. Hannah, he asked for it. He got it. Third inning. And he's got another strikeout. center Taylor back and gone then gives the Orioles a one nothing lead you'll see that from time to time seemed like Neil when he gave up a hit a run a walk and see if that continues here with this batter Cedric Mullins And gets enough of it, but over. 97 hits Westberg. Strike on Kowser. And now a couple. Your chest protector. And a ground single to right. On the 1-2 pitch, Reynolds up with it in a hurry. Cut off by 
Here's Ramon Urias. As the Orioles out in front and a ground ball to O'Neill Cruz for the final lap. Jones did a nice job. Rowdy Tillis ah. squares around the ground. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever played in the snow? It's wild. Round ball to first, a little stumble by Mount Castle. This. Henry Davis. Popped it up. Mount Castle and foul ground now in fair territory. Here's Jared Triolo. Jared so far spending more time over there. Two and one. You know, you got a couple guys down there that you just you can't you can't not. this is this is a deeper lineup than we've seen in a long time. There are no free outs behind only Mookie Betts right now. He collected seven hits. A two one count. Two and two. Speaking of walks, we take a look at our hand here, even though it's just the second inning. And a broken bat, roller to second. The barrel winds up over by the shortstop hole. It's kind of settled down now. Oh. Out there for the third inning. Talk, talking with Jim Leland and Gunnar Henderson. A fly ball toward center field. Michael A. Taylor back. And second home run for Gunnar Henderson. About it. It's just a matter of whether... You know, most good players, good pitchers have a great stuff. There's two impressive pitchers here today. The other kid's a high school draft, too, uh, Rodriguez. When, when you had, you obviously had in, in Detroit some terrific players, as Key Brian Hayes just handles this perfectly. Including Verlander and Scherzer, that uh, when you save those innings early on a, on a five-day basis, you keep turning over your rotation, you got a chance to be pretty good. Ryan Mountcastle. Spurg. And led the team to three when you arrived and Shelton arrives here five years ago. Remind everybody all the time there's no age on the World Series trophy. I like talent. Oh, right there. Neil Cruz now. Facing Grayson Rodriguez. Cruz singled. Communication with the players, but also, of course, uh, somebody like like my, my brother. Well, I think if, if you want to make it a team, you got to include everybody, and you got to pick your spot, get the temperature in the clubhouse just right. That's what you. Oh, foul. That's what. Two and two on Cruz. Well, I mean, if he just you know can can harness some of that talent, you know, he it's unbelievable what this guy's possible. Straighten that out a little bit as Brian Reynolds takes a ball, but uh, going back to Jim Leland's Two balls and no strikes or At least I assume so I did I talked to Sparky Anderson a lot of the hitters, but uh, yeah, you try to pick some brains. I think the you know Chop to the right side and Play it was four three <laughs> Strike on Key Brian Hayes. A little chopper hugging the line. Oh! oh. Dang. Oh, Sawinski pops it up. And in, the in, in veteran leadership, I think that's perfect. Uh, it, it's, you know, it's great when you manage those stars and you got to have.